back to school in July. We have live team coverage this morning. This is as thousands of students in Contra Costa County head back to the classroom for the first day of school. But this comes as COVID cases are surging among children nationwide. Let's start with today in the base. Chris Sanchez, she's live in Brentwood this morning. What are school leaders there telling you? Uh, well, they say that they are ready to have those children back after more than 15 months of distance learning and hybrid learning here at Breadwood Union School District. They are ready to welcome back the majority of their students in person. Now, uh, this is a district of about 9,000 students, elementary and middle schoolers, and they are going to be back on campus starting today, believe it or not. Hand sanitizing stations will look familiar by now, but there are some other changes. New HEPA filters on campus, some other adjustments as well because of COVID. COVID. But this district and others also got a share of more than $5 billion in learning loss mitigation funding from the state. We spent our one time money on extra counselors, on intervention programs, on a summer school jumpstart program, and then on intervention coordinators that are going to make sure that they're really supporting the needs of every kid. Now, in addition to trying to meet the children and get them where they need to be, the state is also requiring all California school children to wear masks while they are indoors, though masks outdoors will be optional. According to state guidelines, staff can go maskless and if, they, if there are no students present and if they are vaccinated. Physical distancing will only be required while eating, not in classrooms, and the state details screening and contact tracing resources for districts along with quarantine requirements, particularly for unvaccinated children and staff. Now, the state has a page dedicated to information for parents from guidance that we just mentioned to how you can help your student if they are struggling academically or socially and emotionally. Local districts do have some leeway, so for more specific questions, you should check with your districts. Some of them are still working out the details down to the last minute.